Hey friends, Coach Rachel here, and I just wanted to hop on live and go over some questions with the containers. Um, I have been getting a couple messages behind the scenes of people feeling stressed and a little overwhelmed, and that's so normal, and I just want you guys to know that that's normal and that it will get easier, but I wanted to walk you through, I really should have looked in the mirror before I did this video, oh well. Um, I want to walk you through how to find your meal plan if you don't have your package already and how to figure out what your calorie bracket is, how many containers do you get each day, and all that's fine and dandy, but how do you create a meal plan based off of that? So it's going to be, I haven't pre-planned this, like I haven't actually, I'm doing this on the fly um, because I've been using the container system for over a year and a half now and it's a huge portion in how I, how, how I lost 80 pounds. So I want to walk you through exactly what to do. So, hey girl Jen. Um, so, and Facebook has not been showing me comments lately, so if you comment and I don't answer, that's why. So I'm going to walk you through how to access your workouts and how to find your meal plan. Alright, and I'm using a, um, a one of my girls, um, Miss Bethany. She told me what her calorie bracket was, and so I'm going to, she's going to be doing country heat. So I'm going to walk you through how, what this process looks like. So you're going to go to beachbodyondemand.com. You're going to sign in, and this is what your homepage is going to look like. This is your first step. If you haven't looked at the post from today, it will walk you through how to pick a program based off your needs and figure out what your program will be if you don't already have one. So make sure you do that step first. So she's going to be doing Country Heat. Um, so I'm going to click into Country Heat. It gives me a brief overview of the program right here. If I go to program materials, which is this third tab right here, I can find the nutrition guide. It walks you through the quick start. It walks you through all of the calendars, your workouts, frequently asked questions, etc. She's already given me her calorie intake. Um, she's already calculated this formula, but I'm going to show you how to do it yourself. So if we scroll down into the eating plan, make sure you read through it, print it out if you need to. I highly recommend that. I'm a very visual person, so I like to have it in my hands. But she's going to give you an explanation of why the containers are so important, how it's helpful, etc. If we scroll down, keep scrolling, it gives you a breakdown of what each container stands for. I also recommend downloading the 21 Day Fix app. Um, Jen, yours, your, one of these is updated, so maybe yours hasn't updated yet with the new platform. I'm not sure. Um, but yes, it does look a lot different. So with this, scroll down, it says, find the container plan that's right for you. So she went through and calculated all this, but step one is you're going to plug in your weight. Um, and each program, the equation is a little bit different, so it's important that you find the equation for your specific workout program. For example, quarter force, your week one calorie bracket is a certain amount, but in weeks two and three, you actually get more food, so you get extra containers, so it's important to pay attention to the program that you're following. Um, but this, with this calculation, she figured out what her calorie intake is, so it's a simple formula that walks you through how to figure that out based off your calorie burn, based off if you're in maintenance or if you're looking to lose weight, etc. So she gave me her calorie target that ends up dumping you out and giving you a calorie target range. Um, hers is 2,091 calories. So we're going to scroll down and it's going to give me which bracket that puts her in. So if you see here, up at the top, it gives you all the bracket options. So we're going to scroll over. She's going to be in calorie bracket plan C. So... Hold on just a second. I'm writing this down. That's 1,800 to 2,099 calories. So if as she loses weight, she will drop brackets. But if you scroll down, it gives you how many of each container that you get each day. So I'm going to write these down real quick. So on a piece of paper, all I have done is written, I'm sorry, my hand's going to be shaky, written down her goal calorie intake, her calorie bracket, 1,800, um, and her containers daily. So we're going to write down, it says that she gets five veggies. See right here, five veggies. And I'm going to write these down. Three fruit, five proteins, four carbs, and then we're going to scroll down. One healthy fat, one seeds and dressings, and then 
five teaspoons. Okay, so I've got that written down on my piece of paper. So at the very top of my piece of paper, I want all of this written down so that each day I know what my goal is for the day. Um, okay, so now the next part. So what do you do with this information now? I'm gonna show you. I'm actually gonna flip it around so I can write and then I'll show you it as I go. So, hey Miss Sarah. All right, so first step is to create a meal plan. Now you know what your brackets are for the day. So I know that every day she needs to have five vegetables, three fruits, five proteins, four carbs, one healthy fat, one seasoned dressing, and five teaspoons. Um, so with that, I need to now create a meal plan. So I'm just gonna do three days worth and kind of break it down and show you how it works. Um, or what you can have. <laughs> is this what you, they want you to have or what you can have? Um, it's what they, the goal is for each day. And you're actually probably going to find most people think it's not much food. Especially when you see the containers, they look super small. But if you actually fill the container up and then dump it on your plate, you're surprised at how much food it is. Um, so the goal is to make sure you get in all of your containers each day. Um, and then if you're finding that you're hungry and things like that, there are things that we can do to tweak it to make sure that you're getting what you need each day. Some of that is just growing pains as you're learning through the weight loss process. Um, but make sure to reach out to your coach as you're working through that to make sure that you're on the right calorie bracket. Um, okay, so I'm just going to start with Monday. So what I would do is I would write the word Monday. <laughs> up at the top. I'm going to break down the day. So we're going to do on the left, I'm going to write breakfast. I'm going to write um, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. And she may actually have a snack after dinner too, we'll see. But you want to aim for five at least five small meals a day. So you want to be consistently eating two to three hours and not going an extended period of time without eating. What this does is it boosts your metabolism so that it kind of restarts, especially people who are used to under eating. Um, this is key because your body is kind of holding on to that fat because you're not eating enough. Um, so my first step is going to be to break down what my goal looks like for each day. So for breakfast, what containers do I want to try to get in? For snack, what containers? And then start filling it in as we go. So let's do that real quick. So I'm going to start with, I like to start with proteins um, because that's a pretty simple one to plan out. Um, she gets five proteins, so that means for every meal and every snack she needs a protein. So breakfast she's going to get a red snack, lunch, snack, dinner, all protein, protein at every single meal. Um, the next bracket it, that's easy to do is fruit. So she's going to get a fruit at, at breakfast, so a purple. Um, she'll get a, let's go fruit with her morning snack, and then a fruit with lunch. Oh man, I'm already messing this up with my handwriting. Um, so those are her three purples. I like if if it's possible for people to get in their fruits before four o'clock in the afternoon. That sugar is better, even though it's a good healthy source of sugar. It's better if it's gotten into your system earlier in the day, so it doesn't sit on your belly as you're sleeping. Um, okay, so next would be the vegetables. So let's see, we're gonna have um, a vegetable. She gets five vegetables. So let's do a veggie for an afternoon snack. I'm gonna show you guys this so you can see. Two veggies, uh, yeah, two veggies. A, hmm, two veggies at dinner and two veggies at lunch. Okay, so that's her five vegetables. She needs four carbs, so I'm gonna recommend a carb at breakfast lunch and dinner. Let's see. One yellow. I'm running out of room. One yellow. One yellow. So she needs one more carb. So we'll do a carb with her morning snack. She is not going to be hungry. I expect to get a message saying that she <laughs> can't eat all this. Um, okay. And the rest of them are things like healthy fats, 
seeds, dressings, and teaspoons. And those will naturally fall in as you're planning out what you're eating. So I'm going to turn the camera on and show you this. All right, so I ran out of space, but I like to cut in the, on the side, or I usually do it up here, but on the side I like to write down what my goal is for each meal. So for breakfast, I want her to have a protein, a fruit, and a carb. For snack, I want her to have a protein, a fruit, and a carb, again. For lunch, I want her to have a protein, a fruit, two veggies, and a carb. That's yellow if you can't read. That handwriting it's terrible snack I want her to have one red and uh, one protein and one veggie dinner I want her to have one protein two veggies and one yellow so that's a breakdown of the structure that you could do now this doesn't have to be like perfect for every single person you do it based off your you know calorie bracket off the containers that you have etc when I started I had more containers um, and Sarah, I'm going to show you how to make the shake count into this. <laughs> um, when I started, I had more containers. And so as I lost weight, I went down to containers and it was a little bit easier. Um, but you actually have to fuel your body enough with enough food for it to lose weight, which is mind blowing for most people. Here's why there are certain, um, superfoods in Shakeology that are designed to combat stress. I don't know if you knew that but they're designed to combat stress. If you're drinking your shake later in the evening, while it's not a bad thing and it won't hurt you, your body's not reaping the full benefits of those specific superfoods earlier in the day. So it's basically like putting on your armor for the day and your body being like, okay, I'm ready to take on the stress of the day. It also really helps with your digestion and it helps with your energy. So for me, I have replaced coffee in full in the mornings with my Shakeology because that gives me the energy boost that I need. And then if I need coffee, it's usually only in the afternoon. Um, so for breakfast, I'm gonna have her do Shakeology. I'm pretty sure she got chocolate if I remember correctly. So that's gonna be her red. Shakeology counts as one red container on its own. So for the rest of this, she is going to need a purple and a yellow. So we're going to beef up her, her Shakeology. We're going to add a banana, either one small banana or one half of a large banana. Make sure to watch that size of your banana because a banana, a small banana is one yellow or one purple and then a large banana is two purples. So make sure you know that. So we're gonna do Shakeology and banana and we're gonna do some peanut butter. So that will be a couple of her teaspoons right there. And then I'm gonna have her do, um, let's do oatmeal in her Shakeology. That sounds weird, but actually is so good. So a tip about oatmeal, if you're using it raw, which I, when I make my shakes, I put it in there raw, um, or like, you know, the old fashioned organic oats, whatever. But a yellow container of uncooked oatmeal is actually too much. So if you use the blue container of uncooked oatmeal, it equals a yellow container of cooked oatmeal. So there's a little a little tip. So she'll put in a blue container of oats into her shake, blend it, and be good to go. Um, so that's breakfast. So that takes a red, which is a Shakeology, a purple, which is the banana, and then her teaspoons, which is the peanut butter, and her yellow, which is the car. You lose me because my connection gets a little weak sometimes. Um, and if you're just hopping on, make sure to go back and watch in the beginning of the video I how to figure out your calorie bracket and how to um, break it down so you know what containers to eat at every meal. And I think I'm gonna go in the other room. Hold on. We'll make meal planning a little bit difficult, but we'll figure this out. Hold please. I'm gonna do it in the kitchen. Hold on. Sorry. Okay. So next up is morning snack. So we need to figure out what she's gonna have for her morning snack. All right, hopefully this connection is better. Okay, so her morning snack is one red, one purple, one yellow. So I'm gonna recommend her to have Greek yogurt. That's a red, that's a protein. Um, and then she can do, um, add some berries with it. So that would be her purple. And then she could do a whole grain waffle for her carb, which is her yellow. And she can put peanut butter on it. So that would be a couple more teaspoons. 
Um, so that's breakfast and snack. Lunch is a red, a purple, two veggies, and a yellow. Lunch is going to be her biggest meal. Um, and she may end up wanting to take some of those away and putting them somewhere else, but she can figure that out. So let's go basic for lunch, okay? Let's say we do a big, yummy salad. Um, we can do grilled chicken as the yellow, I mean the red, protein, red. Um, we'll do the veggies is the, we can do one green of lettuce. So she'll fill up the green container like so. I have several containers. So fill up the green container with lettuce. A tip is you don't want to fill it up to overflowing. You should be able to close the lid on your containers when you're filling them. So she'll fill up one green with lettuce. She'll fill up one green with other vegetables. So she could do cucumber. She could do tomatoes. She could do onions. But fill up another green of other chopped veggies. So I'm just going to put um, one green chopped veggies. Make it a big hearty salad. Um, then she gets a she gets a yellow at lunch, which is a carb. I'm gonna have her put corn. We'll make it like a Mexican salt, you know, whatever, a Mexican salad. Um, so that corn, she can put the corn directly on the salad. She can put cheese on it, and that would be a blue. Um, and then she could have a side uh, of an apple. Okay, so for lunch, she's got a grill, huge grilled chicken salad with a side of an apple. Um, snack, we can do, we need another protein. So let's do two eggs is one red container, which is a protein. Let's do, she needs a vegetable. So let's do some carrots. She can do some carrots as a snack. Dinner, let's do turkey chili for dinner. Okay, so this is how to break down turkey chili. So, let me show you. These are actually all on the Beachbody blog, so y'all have them. Um, but I actually have the physical cookbook for um, Fixate, which is the portion control container cookbook. And I love it. We use it all the time. Let me find turkey chili. I'm going to show you how to do it when you have a recipe that's not so straightforward. So turkey chili is like a one-pot meal. Well, how do you break out the containers with that? Here's the thing. With Beachbody's blog, it tells you on there what the container is for a serving. So one and a half cups is one serving of turkey chili. And on here, let me show you. It tells you what the breakdown is of the containers. So it tells you for every one and a half cups, it equals a half a green, a yellow, and a protein, and a half of a teaspoon. When I'm meal planning and I write turkey chili, I know that that's going to be one half green, and then one yellow, one red, and one half teaspoon. So she's still going to have a little, so we've taken care of her red, we've taken care of her yellow for dinner. She still has one and a half more greens left. So we can pair it with a side, I typically would do a side salad, um, but let's pair it with like steamed broccoli. So paired with, a, she's going to measure out a cup and a half of steamed broccoli. Um, a tip is, you, there's actually a section in the nutrition guide that shows you free foods and vinegars, most vinegars are free foods. So balsamic vinegar, rice wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, all of those are free foods. So I love for steamed broccoli to drizzle some balsamic vinegar on it. The taste is just really good. So you can add that to anything um, and not have to worry about the containers. Alright, so I'm going to show you this. All right, so now we have one day done, okay? So this is gonna overwhelm you, and I don't want you to let it. You can break it down and do it simple. You can go streamlined. You can check out the files tab in our group for ideas, because I've uploaded a couple sample meal plans. Um, but for her, she's gonna do Monday Shakeology, banana, peanut butter, and oats in a blender. Snack, she's gonna do Greek yogurt with berries and a whole grain, whole grain waffle with peanut butter. For lunch, she's going to do a giant grilled chicken salad 
with a cup of green with lettuce, like spinach or whatever, and a cup of mixed chopped vegetables, and then a yellow container of corn. She's also gonna add in a blue container of cheese on that, or she could do a half a blue at lunch and half a blue at dinner if she wanted cheese on her chili. She's gonna have one orange container of dressing on this salad at lunch, FYI. Snack is two eggs and some carrots. Dinner is turkey chili with a side of steamed broccoli. So, meal one, or day one is done. Now, let me show you how to carry some of that over for day two. Um, I am a believer in making enough for dinner to have at least one day's worth of leftovers the next day. Um, and this is going to show itself with the turkey chili. So I'm going to write, break it down again. Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. Just like I did before. So I'm going to switch it up just for principle's sake um, and show you if I were to swap around some of her containers and stuff. So let's say she wanted to do Shakeology for a snack. She could do Shakeology for her morning snack. And she needs a red, purple, and a yellow. So Shakeology. And we'll, with a banana, we'll just keep it simple. Um, and then let's say she adds cashew milk. That would be a yellow. Unsweetened cashew milk or almond milk actually counts as a, as a half a yellow. Eight ounces is half a yellow. Um, but if it's sweetened, so let's pretend for all intents and purposes this is sweetened, that would count as one yellow. Um, so breakfast, let's do some scrambled eggs. Maybe she wants to eat her breakfast. Eggs, let's do oatmeal as a yellow and top it with some berries. So that would be a red, a purple, and a yellow, okay? Um, for lunch, she's gonna do leftover turkey chili, okay? So that's gonna be one half green, one yellow, one red, and one half teaspoon. So that, she'll still need a ha another Let's do a side salad, so that would equal a cup and a half. So she could do a cup of vegetables and then a half a cup of chopped vegetables, a cup of lettuce, half a cup of chopped vegetables. Um, and then she still needs a fruit. So let's just do berries on the side. Okay, so snack, she needs, we can do Greek yogurt. There's a variety of things that she could do, but Greek yogurt and let's do celery with peanut butter. Dinner, we could do something else. So then you can break it down and you can do um, a, something else for dinner. Let me see an example. So, let's see, let's see. What are we gonna do for dinner? Let's say she did steak fajitas, okay? So for dinner, she can do steak fajitas. One serving of that, which is two fajitas, equals one green, one yellow, one red. So she would still need a side of, for dinner she gets a red and two vegetables, so she still needs another side. Let's say she did um, some carrots on the side. We'll keep it simple. But if she goes off this recipe, which has... Um, tortillas in it, it has salsa, it has peppers and onions and steak, um, then she can follow that and break it down container-wise. So I'm going to stop there because I don't want anybody to over get overwhelmed. Let me show you. So that's two days meal planned out. So it's broken down. She is using her leftovers for lunch on the next day. So she could do the same thing for Wednesday. So she'd have steak fajitas for lunch on Wednesday, etc, etc. So. That's my tips. I'm going to post a video tomorrow that gives you frequently asked questions for the container system. Um, here's the thing. Some people can't handle going all in with the container system. And I'm a huge believer in taking it at your own pace and doing what you feel works best for you. Brainstorming with your coach and coming up with a solution that's best. If your diet naturally consists of a lot of fast food and a lot of junk, and this is going to be a huge transition for you. 
I might start with the first week just making healthy choices. Um, maybe skipping the drive through and cooking at home. And then week two, maybe you integrate using the containers for snacks. Um, so instead of trying to meal plan an entire week out, you break it down into a manageable portion and use it for snacks. Um, then the next week, do breakfast. So in that whole time you're drinking Shakeology, don't forget that, the whole time you're drinking Shakeology, but you're not as overwhelmed trying to plan it and break it down like this, which is great. You can do that, and I love that. And I, the sooner you can get to this, the better, but some people just can't handle that, and that's okay. Um, so let's say week two, you did breakfast and snacks with the containers. Week three, you did breakfast, lunch, and snacks. And then week four, you did all meals with containers. So you're easing yourself into it. With meal planning, here's another tip. With meal planning, only meal plan three days at a time. So you're only going to take it in three-day chunks because here's the thing. If you've never meal planned or meal prepped before, then you run the risk of prepping too much food and not eating it, not prepping enough. But by prepping three days at a time, it allows you at the end of that three days to reflect on what worked and what didn't work and then create the rest of your game plan. So plan out Monday through Wednesday and then Wednesday night, prep a couple things to have on hand for the next couple days. Um, but take it at your own pace. Do not get overwhelmed by these containers. I have a lot of people who stress out over them. And it's so simple and it's so easy. But just be patient. Know it takes time to master this skill. It's it's like everything else. You know, if you were tracking in MyFitnessPal your calories. Or if you were tracking with Weight Watchers, your points, etc. It's the same concept. But this is teaching you how to eat healthy, normal, clean foods that are appropriately portioned for your body to fuel your metabolism, help you lose weight, and help you reach your goals. So I challenge you to overcome that fear. Reach out to your coach if you're worried, if you're stressed, if you're struggling. If you create a meal plan, post it to the group. Let us see. Let us cheer you on. Help each other get ideas. Um, but a couple of other things. If you go on to Beachbody's blog, they actually have, for most programs, they have pre-created meal prep tutorials. So I could go on to, for Miss Bethany, I could go on to um, Beachbody's blog and search um, country heat calorie bracket 1800 or 1800 to 2099 and it would pull up a meal prep specifically for that calorie bracket. It would include a, um, a grocery list, it would include all the recipes, and it would include um, step-by-step -step instructions on how to meal meal prep those foods and step-by-step -step on how to do it. So if you don't want to try to do all this on your own, I really do encourage you to go to Beachbody's website and search your program and your calorie bracket and see what you pull up. Even use it for ideas for what you want to do um, because that will really help with your stress level. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, I know this is a long video, but meal prepping and meal planning is such an intricate part of weight loss, and you're not going to get it perfect, and that's okay. You know, giving yourself grace and realizing that you're going to fail forward is going to be a key for you and for me. So, now I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done that. Um, so, if you have any questions at all, please comment them below on this video, and Jen and I will be happy to answer your questions. Post them into the group, because if you have a question, I'd put money on at least two other people in the group have the same question. They're just too afraid to ask. So, we're an open forum, or an open book, and we're here to support you. So, much love to you guys. Hope this helped, um, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.